Good afternoon runners and welcome back to another video from me that running girl. In today's video I'm going to do an update post on the vegetarian and vegan vitamins that I have been taking over the last few months. I think it's been quite a while since I did um, a review video on vegetarian and vegan vitamins and they just help me feel so much more alert and give me so much more energy when I've got such a busy life. Um, I'm not paid by any of these companies to talk about these products. Um, obviously the channel that I have on YouTube is very small so I'm not affiliated in any way with the products. I literally just um, use these. I either found them organically on uh, Amazon or I found them you know because they were being hyped on Instagram and tried them out um, because I still do think it's not difficult nowadays to get um, vegetarian and vegan vitamins but back in the day when I became a vegetarian almost 20 years ago now uh, it was really difficult to get a vegetarian it was it was basically impossible you could not get a vegetarian or a vegan gummy you know chew multivitamin or vitamin targeted to certain areas so obviously you don't just get multivitamins these days you get you know multivitamins targeted to skin health bone health uh, to give you more energy, you know, to make your hair grow stronger, to make your nails grow faster. Um, so many different things that vitamins target these days. But anyway, I just um, thought I would use, give you a quick update as well on my COVID recovery, because obviously the last video that I made um, was talking about me and the coronavirus. And also, I've just realized that this is one of the very few videos that I make in daylight. So you can actually see me because the um, video that I watched back, um, watched a few minutes of it back, because uh, I do that sometimes there, so I watch them back and I wonder how I'm perceived and things. Um, yeah, the video I watched back a minute ago, I was literally thinking you can't, the, the lighting in the videos is so bad because um, I literally just used pho photo booth um, on my iMac to make these videos. I don't have any like fancy equipment or anything. So hopefully you can see me more in this video. But yes, on with the video. <laughs> so I picked three different types of vegan and vegetarian investments that I've been really liking lately. Um, I usually take, you're meant to take two of them daily but I usually mix them up. So I might take one of these and one of these or one of these and one of these or, you know, however you want to mix them up. Um, that's just the way I like to do things. But I always make sure I have one of these ones because um, when I got into talking about them, these ones are multivitamins, but they're also targeted towards skin and um, hair and nail health and longevity and strength. Um, which is something that I've been really keen on lately because um, before I had red hair, I've had red hair for probably about, I don't know, maybe a year and a half, just under two years now. And before that, um, people that watch a lot of these videos and have seen my videos back in the day will know that I had blonde hair for about nine years. Um, and... I suffered a slight um, mishap in my hair, uh, maybe about a year ago, um, where I, I don't know what I did, but I think it maybe my hair was over-processed, um, and you can see only just um, here, so there is certain parts of my hair still at the front, these parts, which are slightly shorter than the others. So I'm growing all my hair back to be all the same length. But um, yeah, I basically suffered a bit of a, they call it a chemical haircut, which is basically like where your hair is so processed that um, it it kind of cuts it off through the damage. So it breaks off and it, it essentially cuts the hair. Um, so I've been trying really hard to um, condition my hair and, and get it back to full strength. And one of the things that I've done in that journey is um, invest in, in the Star Power uh, Healthy Hair and Skin and Nail Vitamins. So this is a product, I mean, I might as well just start talking about this one first because it's um, the one that I'm naturally talking about first. So this product, um, it was hyped loads on Instagram and that's where I first saw it. And there's so many, you know, 
like you usually get with vitamins and any kind of review videos, obviously people are only going to post positive reviews, but there were so many influential reviews about this product that I thought, you know what, for £20 it's worth trying. And you get a really big supply in here as well, I think it's like, see that? Oh, it's 30 days supply, so you get 60 gummies, so um, you get a whole month's supply. And the nice thing about Star Power also is, if you make a review, any kind of good review for them, whether it's on, you know, Instagram or Facebook, or you make a um, video on YouTube, or you, I don't know, do a Google review, like whatever way you want to promote them, basically if you buy one set and promote them and you have a good experience with them and you tell people of that good experience, they will send you a whole new one, which I think is really good. Um, especially as they're really good. Um, so basically they taste like strawberry flavor. They are about the size, I was going to start likening them to the size of UK currency, but then I realized that people aren't like watching this in the UK and they won't know what a 10 pence fee piece is. Um, so basically they are this big to scale. <laughs> um, so, you know, they're a relatively easy size to eat. Um, and obviously, you know, the gummies are not like, like pills. You don't have to weird out about swallowing them because I've just, I don't know whether anyone else has this, but I cannot swallow pills. Since I was small, I just have not been able to swallow pills. It's almost like they do, do something to my gag reflex and I just, I just cannot swallow pills, even if they're really tiny. If I literally have to swallow a pill, I have to like crush it up and put it in food like a baby because I just actually can't do it. But yeah, so they're um, small little pink round gummies with a little star on to obviously link in with the branding of Star Power. Um, and yeah, they just taste like sweets basically. They include uh, folic acid, zinc and biotin. And then if I look at the main composition of them, uh, so the main vitamins are vitamin E, vitamin D3, vitamin B6, iodine, folic acid, biotin, which I just said, and vitamin B12. And also they have aloe vera, niacin, vitamin A, zinc, and 50% vitamin C. So it's an all around good multivitamin for, you know, modern people, active people. Um, and it's difficult to say, to be honest, I'm gonna be completely honest here about the hair growth thing, because it is difficult to say, um, because if you think about it, when you're taking these for 30 days, you've also gone a whole month without cutting your hair, presumably, if you're trying to grow your hair. So if you take them for sort of three months and you think, oh, I'm really noticing a difference, is that actually a difference? Or is it just because of, you know, the natural growth of your hair? So yeah, I think the jury is out on that one for me, whether I actually have seen much difference. Um, it's not... It's not obviously making anything worse, um, but because I only wash my hair like once or twice a week these days to help with the growth journey. Um, yeah, I just, whether it's a placebo thing or whether they actually are making my hair thicker or whether it's a combination of, you know, the other vitamins or not washing my hair as much, I don't know. But it's certainly, um, you know, an enhancement in my vitamin taking that means that when they're all combined together, they are just a powerhouse of hair growth. <laughs> anyway, on to the um, next one. So these are called Jolly Jelly Iron Multivitamin Gummies. Um, and these, I bought these because basically, I think a few months ago I did a video on um, Wicked Gummy Iron Supplements. So Wicked Gummy, I had been buying from them for quite a while. Similarly, they're like uh, iron gummies um, that I was taking for um, the fact that obviously um, I don't want to become anemic again because I'm not anemic, but I'm kind of like if the <laughs> if the anemic um, line was here, I would be like here because I'm I'm kind of borderline anemic, <laughs> um, so it's really important that I take iron supplements all the time. Otherwise, I get super 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 tired and um, I have slight breathing difficulties, which I think I talked about in another video, um, because I won't bore you with the details, but I've got slightly smaller than normal red blood cells, um, so obviously that um, 
links in with being able to carry oxygen around my body and it's just really important for me that I optimize my iron intake um, and so yeah I bought these Jolly Jelly vitamins off Amazon because the Wicked Gummy Co vitamins had run out at the time and so I was just searching through Amazon and I thought to be honest I was literally just looking for something cheap and um, vegan gummy you know not tablet form and I found these and um, again they're similar to the it's like smaller than the um, star power ones they're just tiny like fruity gummies um, and you get a how many do you get in here? Do you know what it doesn't actually say? <laughs> but I would I would expect you get a month's supply in here. Um, oh no, sorry, it does say so. You get sixty in here. So again, you're supposed to take like two a day, um, which will last you for a month. And the main ingredients in here are obviously iron, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin C B six, folic acid, B twelve, biotin, and pantothenic acid otherwise known as vitamin b5 so i've been kind of mixing up because obviously you get a multivitamin in here but you also get iron in here um and there's not um there isn't any iron in here so that is why i'm taking the iron so together i just you know think that they're going to be good for my strength and endurance um when I'm not taking these ones so basically I'd say these are the same kind of price point both of these were about 20 pounds each um maybe you know 23 25 with delivery um and I would say they are kind of mid-range vegan vegetarian gummies um if you're looking for something slightly cheaper and something a bit more accessible, so if you didn't want to get it on Amazon, if you literally just want to go to the high street and spend under £10 on a vegan or vegetarian vitamin, then I really, really recommend these. Now, I'm really impressed with these because, like I say, back in the day, there were not anything in terms of vegan or vitamin you know, vegan, vegetarian vitamins, if you went into, if you went into Boots or Superdrug in the UK, you would literally have to buy like Bassett's soft and chewy kids gummies. And even they're not vegetarian or vegan. So if I wanted vitamins back in the day, that was literally all I could get. So I basically didn't have any for so long. <laughs> I was like, probably really lacking in a lot of um, nutrients um, and vitamins because they just weren't available and I couldn't swallow tablets. Um, so yeah, like I said, the Bassett soft and chewy vitamins for kids, do you have beef and pork gelatin in, which obviously you don't want to be putting in your body if you're a vegetarian or a vegan. Um, so I was really pleased when I actually found these and, and Boots have brought out their own range, own brand of vitamin gummies. Um, so they are obviously vegetarian and vegan. Um, all of the ingredients are really, like fruity sounding as well so they have sort of natural flavorings from strawberries natural blueberry flavoring flavorings um the gelling agent in this is pectin which is obviously i think one of the gelling agents of choice for a lot of vegetarian and vegan things um because i see pectin a lot now in cereals that used to uh have beef gelatine or pork gelatine as the gelling agent like they've obviously made the switch over so that's really nice but um, basically, these are the beauty uh, version of multivitamins. So they do like a beauty version, they do like an energy version, they do like a standard multivitamin version. So this is a glowing blend of selenium, biotin, and zinc for healthy hair, skin, and nails. And again, you get 60 in here, so you're meant to take two a day, and that will last you uh, 30 days. And the really nice thing about these is they're super cheap. I think these were like six or seven pounds. And they're also on three for two. So if you get, you know, three, you only have to pay for two, um, which is actually really quite uh, affordable, I think. Um, so yeah, I I've been taking a combination of these uh, probably for the last two or three months. And I definitely notice a real um surge in my energy levels and just my general feeling well um because as a vegetarian and a runner I can feel really 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 tired really easily I mean it's still important for me to get eight or nine hours sleep a night because I've just been I've always been someone who needs a lot of sleep um I can run off little sleep so I have been known to I go to bed quite late and 
also have been known to, you know, drink energy drinks to keep more awake, but it's just more sustainable for me if I actually get a good night's sleep and I take my vitamins and I try and look after myself, which, you know, makes a lot of sense. Um, but yeah, I really recommend all those vitamins highly as someone who's tried out the, um, you know, I've tried out all these three vitamin ranges. I tried out the uh, Wicked Gummy Co range, which was also really good. I really rate that range as well. Um, but yeah, touch wood, aside from COVID, I still, you know, I don't ever have any um, injuries. Um, <laughs> I always say to people that I get unconventional injuries. So um, I had sort of severe leg stiffness after COVID and I got a massage to sort that out and just was really patient and, you know, waited the um, allotted time for my legs to sort themselves out. And they have now, fortunately, touch wood, so I'm back to running again. Um, but I might make a video about my leg massage actually after COVID and the experience I had with that. Um, so people might find that helpful. But yeah, these are the um, three vitamins that are multivitamins for vegetarians and vegans that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. I will drop some links for them below and um, I hope that you can check them out and um, let me know what vitamins you like in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.